Oh no! You've got to be choking me! No way! I'm. I'm babe shocked. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. I'm Spectral Star. This is actually my real voice. I hope you're ready for a death battle of the ages. It's Harleen Quinzel versus Jinxy Minxy. I don't actually, I don't, I don't really know her real name. I, it's just Jinx, I guess. Uh, I don't play League of Legends. I did, however, watch Batman the Animated Series where Harley Quinzel first appeared. So, kind of hoping she wins. Longtime Harley fan. Used to be in love with her when I was a wee lad. Of 25. No, <laughs> no, I was like, uh, I think I was like 16 or something. I don't know. Anyways, this was before they hoed her up. Gave her some short shorts and uh, and uh, ponytails. This was like when she was wearing the, uh, the clown gear. Maybe I shouldn't be so proud of that, that I thought that was attractive. I guess it's a good thing I never went to any circuses. I might have been one of the freaks interred into the program. Anyways, I hope you're ready. I have to be next to this mic. It is a directional mic. So. But thank you because you paid for it. Because you watched my videos. You hit the like button. You shared. You subscribed. You commented. I don't know if the comments do anything. But it's nice to read them. It brings my spirits up, you know. It's, it's really nice. So I hope you're ready for a new death battle. I'm going to go ahead and don the earlobes. I hit the mic. I'm a jackass. Let's go. Harley Quinn versus Jinx. Jinxy Minxy. Harley Quinn, DC's fantabulous anti-hero. Jinx, the loose cannon of League of Legends. Completely naked. In a society that adheres to strict I know why people play that norms, game. <laughs> these two ladies turn that system on its head with their okay, wild seriously, enthusiasm though. for destruction and chaos. He's there we go. Boomstick. That's and hot. Our job to their That's weapons, sexy. Armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. I mean, if you're into clowns. Born to a middle class family in the heart of Brooklyn, USA, Harleen Quinzel had long lived a life of mediocrity. She had yes. embarrassing parents, annoying siblings, and a high school life that sucked. Even more than, like, the normal ones. She never quite felt like she fit in anywhere. But despite this, Harley knew she was destined for greatness. So, inspired by a childhood crush I can relate. psychotic murderer, Harleen spent years training... I'm sure a lot of us were treated like shit in elementary school. To by our peers and our asylum, classmates. The most dangerous criminals on the planet. I didn't turn into a crazy killer, though. The Joker. So, I guess I'm good. And his I just do death battle reactions. Clown and Jared Leto. She came to Honk if you love dolphins. The Joker was actually a fish Good movie, good Joker. Down by an unjust society. You get what you deserve. I didn't say it, but you know. this was the first of the Joker's many manipulations, leading Harleen to see a warped reflection of herself through him. Culminating in her breaking him out of prison, bleaching her skin. <laughs> Quickly jump into this vat of toxic chemicals. Of and we'll go out. Into love like you gotta do that, though. Born as the fantastic Harley Quinn. And she was packing plenty of tools of maniacal mayhem, including her iconic hammer, electric buzzers, and bombs of all shapes and sizes, like the dreaded banana cream pie. The most evil of There's a all freaking pies. landmine in that pie. Quickly, she can use her handy dandy pogo stick. Which oh, come on, they didn't draw that, that for cutesy safe. pootsy moments, no. You see those curves? Versatile tool is her pop gun. A rotating revolver with special ammo rounds, like a boxing glove. Whoa, whoa, close one. And biting can That poor cat. <laughs> And did I mention explosive rounds? Which oh, oh no. Ah, my leg is gone. Oh no. Oh wait. There he was. I'm fine. Yeah. I'm gonna go. Yeah, you, you better. You're probably wanted in 17 states. Nasty skills, making her far deadlier than your average criminal. Uh, she's she very keep up with athletic. Like Deadshot and Catwoman, even Batman at times. The peak human superhero that can dodge lightning and survive this alien device exploding. Which Batman. Multiple city blocks. He's just a yeah, dude. I think that's stretching the term peak human just Remember, a bit. he's but just hey, a he's dude. A I mean, yeah. So we'll allow it. 
Unfortunately for He's Harley, superhuman for a her human. Unwavering loyalty to the Joker, their honeymoon period did not last. He spent years abusing her, physically and emotionally, tearing her down piece by piece. Very misogynistic take, and uh, you know it's he's 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 a bad guy, and that just makes him worse. Harley was left alone in the wreckage, abandoned by the one person she dedicated her entire life to, until fellow villain Poison Ivy came by. She nursed Harley back to health, literally healing her from a damaged relationship. Ivy even gave Harley a chemical concoction that granted her superhuman <laughs> strength and a healing factor. I suppose a healthy relationship that can the mic. feel like your own superpower in and of itself. Best yeah, friends forever. They seem like very good friends. Wow. With Ivy at her side, okay. Harley went on to rebuild herself as a famous anti-hero, leading teams like the Gotham Sirens and Suicide Squad. She worked on developing new skills built around her own strengths rather than that of her past. Like learning to use her lifelong knowledge of psychoanalysis to manipulate her foes mid-combat. And creating tons of her own chemical concoction, like tranquilizers and sleeping gases that can incapacitate metahumans. She even reverse-engineered her former flame's trademark Joker Venom. This deadly substance excites the laughter centers in a person's brain and forces them to laugh until they suffocate. Harley was clearly on top of the so world. So creepy. But nothing caps off self-improvement like a Rocky Balboa training montage. So Harley went to Themyscira of all places to get a combat internship wow. with the Amazon. Look at that face. Like her favorite is superhero, Wonder Woman. Man, imagine going from bashing random goons in Gotham to fighting alongside immortal warrior goddesses. She became agile enough to jump between skyscrapers and strong enough to rip an entire palm tree out of the ground with her bare hands. Based Jeez. On the size of the tree and the weight of an average palm by foot, that weighs about 600 pounds. And she can hold it with And look at those so fabulous probably at least twice as much. Palm leaves. Enough to lift a full-grown brown bear and throw it like a ragdoll. Hell, her skills advanced so far she was God. a herald I've on the mi I forgot world. that Zangief did you know, that. The planet ruled by the living embodiment of evil, even the actual personification of the DC editor Real staff likes to call her in to help with tough jams. As the years went on, Harley surprised literally everyone by transitioning from supervillain to superhero. She <laughs> partnered up with other heroes, became a psychiatrist again, and legitimately started helping other vigilantes with trauma, like Jason Todd, who definitely needed that. In fact, the Bat family she used to antagonize and ridicule eventually accepted her as kind of an extended member of their group, teaming up with her to save Gotham from her toxic ex. Good for her. Guess we're not going to talk about when she went back to the Joker a couple times, huh? In the end, oh, she God. a little nutty, but you'd be mad not to love Harley Ooh, Quinn. Ooh, a bat to the face. No pun intended. The world of Rune Terra is a wondrous fantasy land of advanced technology, okay. arcane magics, and legendary champions. But on its northern shores are two cities locked in political turmoil. For decades, Piltover's rich elite have exploited. God, I'm hoping this is League of Legends. Zone, forcing workers into unsafe and not like Raid Shadow Legends or something. I, I just don't play those games. Oh, so like New Jersey, Strictly a shooter a guy. Until Shooters day, and a wild, loose Elden Ring right now. Explode <laughs> onto the scene. She gave those uptight topsiders a taste of their own medicine. Menacing its people with bombs, gunfire. I love to play the uh, occasional Next horror Jinx. game. Let's take a look at Ghostwire Tokyo. I might do a zoo. And let's play of it. Can't watch that. Anyways. Now those Enough about me. Back to death battle. Only the enforcer, Violet, could hope to stop her. But even armed with I thought that was the fist guy. That's not. That's Overwatch. Feet. Vi could Death not fist. definitively overcome Jinx's magnificent arsenal of mechanical monstrosities. Man, they're so evenly matched. It's almost like they're uh, related. Yeah. Anyway, Jinx can burst open I guess so. with a trusty Zephyr shock pistol. Turn I assume that's supposed to be a joke about how they actually are related. They just haven't said it yet. That they've been hinting it. But Jinx's favorite weapon is her Fishbones rocket launcher. So much so, she rides it like a rocket-powered pogo stick. Ah, oh, this is why they're fighting. Because they're both idiots. Not only is Jinx tough enough to take a hit from Brom, a guy who can shake mountains with a punch, but she's wicked smart. Almost all her gear is That's mountain made. abuse. She's even recreated Hextech. Funky science powered by magic crystals. Ooh. Including her hand <laughs> device. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Is that League of Legends? 
What a coincidence. Oh, no. Hold the phone. Are, are you talking about League of Legends over there? I love that game. <laughs> I've got in more than 10,000 hours just in our college days, huh, buddy? <laughs> Jeez. League of Legends. Get alive now. Online just battle joking. Arena game forged I know people that play League. Parties and salty gamer tears all. Oh. And as any professional will tell you, to play the game well, you need to min-max your character's loadout with the best possible items. Yeah, and the worst mistake you can make is being new. God, it's the midterms all over again. Right. Oh, boomstick, stay in your lane. What are you doing in the jungle? Stop it, feeder. Jinx's ideal loadouts include Phantom Dancer, so she can phase through objects after landing a blow. I'd like to phase out of this conversation. Then there's the Quicksilver Sash, which protects Oh yeah, there was one game I like played that was like this. It's called Paragon. I think Fortnite killed it. Epic Game Store. They're like, yeah, this has got a, we got a, we got to cannibalize this game for, uh, put more money into Fortnite. Damn good game. So, there's more to Jinx than what the main games depict. Before her infamous tomfoolery, most people around Zon knew her as an innocent young tinkerer named Powder. Like pretty much everyone in the Undercity, Powder had it rough. She lost her parents in a conflict with enforcers, but had a bit of luck when she joined this cool foster family along with Vi, who was, guess, her sister all along. If oh no! What put soap in You've got to be choking me! Total badass. No way! Desperate to also prove herself to her newfound family, and then I'm, she made a mistake. I'm Finally fucking shocked. Abandoned, Powder was left in the hands of the most notorious drug kingpin around. Silco was not the father she needed, but the one she wanted, teaching her to turn her perceived Not the father the daughter needed, strength. but the daughter the father Thus, wanted. Jinx. Even when Batman. the sisters reunited years later, they couldn't fully reconcile, setting up the game of cat and mouse in the game. Jinx was an excellent rival, able to keep up with other skilled warriors like the bullet dodging Echo, and survive the worst of Zahn's toxic environments which can kill normal people in minutes. After a near fatal explosion, he wasn't he was normal. He had a jaw sure, made of a bronze. Toxic strength and speed enhancing drug that permanently altered her body's biochemistry. But Shimmer's side effects intensified her prior trauma, making her much more unhinged and prone to attacking with lethal intent, inspiring her ultimate weapon, the Super Mega Death Rocket. This baby's been powered by both Hextech and its even more volatile cousin, Chemtech. That's even more explosive. I forgot how much I appreciated the explody options. Anyway, both Hextech and Chemtech are comparable in power to natural magic. On par with what a badass mage like Lux is able to cast, such as Lucent Singularity, which can totally body these big old rocks. Measuring their width with mm, rocks, height, we can determine she destroyed almost 13,000 tons of rock from 30 meters away. That's a lot of rock. Show Mega Death Rocket matching the speed and power of Lux's final spark. A much more powerful attack that fires a Kamehameha of natural light. So her rocket is not only right. super strong, but super fast. From powder to gunpowder, Silco couldn't be prouder. But her violet streak grew grim until the day she met a particularly explosive Yordle. Ziggs bonded with her over their I want a Yordle. Destruction, but his Just please hold the explosives. Control. Thanks to his wisdom, Jinx learned a little bit of restraint when it came to exploding things of a more fleshy nature. Helping oh yes, writing the missile in. And recover some of her mental stability, like he's some kind of feline brand Jiminy Cricket. And despite being on opposite sides of the bridge, <laughs> Jinx and Vi remain sisters. Ultimately, still caring about each other but in their own way. Isn't she if insane? More often than not. Though you better believe Doesn't that she belong in the nut hatch down in Syracuse? Jinx will be there to shake things up. All right, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all possibilities. Here's all right, let's watch this. Uh, Jinx has better weaponry. Probably gonna win. I mean, Harley can. Fight the Batman, but I don't know. Can they say these games are rigged? This animation is great, by the way. Like, have you seen the previews? It's very good. Wow, somebody. Wow. Oh, is it a murder of pigeons, too? I just thought it was a murder of crows. I figured it'd be a flock of pigeons. I think it is a flock. You know, 
whoever wins, the birds lose. <laughs> okay, that was good. You're a real firecracker. Got a light? Oh, sure thing. Okay. The fuse is way too long. She just keeps it in there. Uh oh. You still alive? It's a giant hammer being wielded by somebody who can rip palm trees out of the ground. I think it's a video game. Got a Nintendo Switch. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, fuck gravity. <laughs> using the Joker serum, the Joker venom, Joker toxin, Joker something, damn it. Oh boy, shit's gonna get real. Oh, well, she's dead. As you deliver the final kill. Hmm. Nah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> KO! Don't just stand there, Jinx. You just want a free teddy bear. What if it's Timbers? This was a complicated fight with far more factors to consider than wow. a first blush. Harley had more direct combat experience against superpowered beings, along with better training. But Jinx's physical power, diabolical weaponry, and assortment of items were just enough to roast this Harlequin duck. While Harley lifting over 1,200 pounds is impressive, Jinx can compete with Vi, whose gauntlets weigh eight times that in the game. And Jinx can take hits from a guy who can shake mountains. A bit beyond Harley's level of strength. Harley uh, may yeah, have been yes, more naturally yes. acrobatic, but Jinx's hextech and intangibility match and outclass that mobility. The teleporting tablet alone could control the entire fight, since Jinx could send herself or Harley just about anywhere. And while Harley had a moderate healing factor, she's never regenerated entire body parts before. So a big enough kaboom would definitely kill her. Well, I didn't even know she had a healing factor. To do just that. That's cool, though. In order to destroy over 13,000 tons of rock from such a distance, Lux's magic explosion would need a yield of about 20 kilotons of TNT. And Jinx's Hextech and Chemtech are similar to Lux's magic in speed and power. Even if we scale Harley's durability to Batman surviving this massive explosion, the potency of Jinx's weaponry outpaces it more than 300 times. Sure, Harley is legitimately intelligent, but so is Jinx, as evidenced by her inventions and routinely outwitting Vi and her task force. Plus, Jinx is typically distrusting of people she's just met, so Harley's potential mind games were likely to fall on skeptical ears. Jinx was much more likely to shoot first and ask questions later. Now, Harley still had her wide array of poison. Let's just be honest here. Agents, she had better firepower. Joker, which would kill most opponents in minutes. However, after living her whole life in the toxic cesspool of Zon, her tolerance for poisons is clearly much higher than a normal person. Not to mention, the Quicksilver Sash could simply end any unwanted effect on her. 
Ultimately, Harley couldn't stand up to Jinx's physical power, superior technology, or overwhelmingly explosive arsenal. Harley clowned around only to get her bell rung by someone out of her league. The winner is Jinx. Harley's still hotter. Death Battle is back and we've launched a brand new membership program for our YouTube I'm not salty. I'm fine with that. I just, team, I just don't know that character. Emotes, badges, I can understand why they won more. though. Click that join button to see more info and thanks for watching. Okay, what's next? Okay, Scarlet Witch. Versus Z Zaltana? Zaitana? 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 Z Z I can't say it. I never could. I never could say it. Let's just... Let's not beat around the bush here. I could I could never say it. So, if you guys like the new episode, please hit the like button. If you did, comment. Tell me what your best part was. I enjoyed it. Uh, I loved the animation. The music kicked ass. It was hard rocking, which I love. Put that in any death battle. It's freaking great. Either gangster rap or hard rock. You know... I could see some country, maybe country music and maybe like a, like a, you know, if they brought out a, that guy from Overwatch, what's his name? <laughs> High noon. I can't, I can't freaking remember his name. Anyways. Uh, yeah, I could see that. Great music, great animation. The next fight probably going to be 2d. Just going to go ahead and throw it out there it is a new season of death battle. It is upon us. Please. I'm calling you to action. Subscribe, like, share this, leave me a comment. I appreciate you. If you can, stop by, watch my gaming videos. I upload them just about every day, except for Saturdays and Sundays. And, you know, of course, I'm always going to do Death Battle. Uh, the last video I had on Death Battle garnered the most views I've ever gotten on my channel. It was a milestone broken by you guys. 41,000 for Popeye versus Saitama. The last video that was really high up in the numbers was Digimon versus Pokemon. And that came out years ago. Oh, my God. I, You know, sometimes I forget how long I've been around. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm Spectral Star, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.